Hello everyone, this is Christian, Christian, and welcome back to my third tutorial. Um, this is the picture we're going to make today, uh, and I'm using a tool or a filter. I only know two, uh, two, th two things I can use it for, so pretty exciting, but I'm going to, I will show both of them, but not in the same tutorial. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. Uh, for this picture, we're going to use this one. Uh, as you can see, it has very straight lines, and that's important to make this. Uh, if I make a line here, you can see that it's not perfect from the end, end of right to the end of left here. But it's pretty close. But to make it easier for ourselves, we're going to make the, these lines fit a bit more. So start by unlock unlocking the layer, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna I will select this area here by pressing M. Then I'm gonna duplicate it by Command J and drag this part over here. Make the ground fit like this. As you can see, it's not perfect, but we'll fix that in a second. Uh, emerge the layers by pressing Command E. And use the stamp tool just to make the forest behind here disappear. As I said in the last tutorial, Alt click with stamp tool where you want to take the color from and go down to the part where you want to paint and just brush away. Uh, as you can see here it's not perfect so we're gonna use patch tool or at least try it. I think it will work. Uh, like this maybe. Uh, not perfect but it's okay. Like this. I don't like that, so I'm going to use stamp tool again. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You won't see it anyway. But yeah, like this. Um, as you can see, they match more now, but. I want a more blue sky than this. It's too many clouds and noise on it. So you can take the whole sky and just make it blue. But I like some clouds. So I'm going to take the color from on top here. Press X to switch the colors down here. And then take color from uh, around here. Then I'm pressing M. Go to the side here and select this area here. I'm going to make a new layer by pressing Command Shift and N and call it Sky. Uh, go to the gradient here, it's behind the bucket or in front, and then choose the first one here. As you can see, it uses both, both of the colors. Uh, go like this, have a straight line, hold Shift if you need to. You can see the color going in. The problem is that it's too harsh, this line here, so I will use a mask, as you can see down here, and you can see it pops up a new window here. Uh, mask is, if you use a brush, you can paint with black and white. If you paint on with black, it will delete the, uh, or not delete, but paint away the gradient. So if you switch back to, you can see it like this. So you take away the gradient without deleting it. So if you regret, you can switch color to white and then brush over it again and it will make the gradient come back. So it's a very useful tool. Uh, I'm going to use this with a soft brush, about 90, to take away the harsh line and uh, just make the clouds look a bit more natural in the sky. 
like this. Looks pretty good. So it seems like the clouds are really stopping here. Uh, yeah, like this. Now I'm gonna merge these layers. Press Command E. Um, you could make the picture a bit more square. No, we're not gonna do that. I'll show you later. Um, okay, let's begin with the tool. Command T, right click, rotate 180 degrees. Uh, I have to check something, yeah. Okay, if you have dead space here, you have to take that away. So just make the picture bits larger. Press C to crop so you don't have anything outside the picture. And like that. Now we can use polar coordinates, it's under distort and polar coordinates. And as you can see, you have two different choices here. If I zoom out, you can see this makes a ball. And this is like this, so we'll be using this one. Press OK. It's important that you turn the picture upside down, or this will be inverted. So, um, As you can see here, it still didn't match perfectly because I wasn't uh, detailed enough, um, so we have to do something about this. But as you can see, we have a great start here. It's not perfectly uh, circle yet, so press Command T, uh, hold Alt, and take this square here and drag it out until you think it looks good enough, mm, like that. Now zoom in, go up here, and you have to fix this. You can use stamp tool, patch tool, whatever you would like to. I'm just, I will try to use um, stamp tool first at least. Take this, go down here. It's good enough. <laughs> you you know what I mean. So and you can just go down, 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 down. down. Mm, okay. And just fix this like this. Same with the sky. I think the spot healing brush will be fine. Yeah, pretty good. Not as good as I wanted, so I'm gonna use stamp tool once more. Uh, big brush. It doesn't look quite as natural as I want it, but you can do something about your, that yourself. Um, now we know how to do this. And the reason why I want the blue sky is because now the uh, clouds won't go out of the picture or anything like that, so I can have it big and ni nice and big. And uh, it looks nicer with the blue sky. You can always turn this around. Oh, you can see it's not perfect clear. It's not a perfect circle, so... Now it's pretty good. And you can take away the dark areas, do whatever you want to. You can put people on it, or whatever. If you have, for example, um, things with wires, the wires will go around it, and it looks pretty cool. Oh, like here. That's a pole with wires, I think. It's just really, really weak. Anyway, now you know how to use it. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, I'll see you later.